Greetings fellow science geeks, I'm Autumn. This video is about biology, specifically the teaching of evolution. Now, there's a conflict between religion and science. I don't know why. Science is called science because it can be proven repeatedly and can be verified through evidence that can be produced from many fields and verified by many different scientists. In fact, if you yourself could do an experiment to verify certain ideas in science that are either called theories or laws. In this video, I'm not going to talk about the conflict about teaching evolution and teaching creationism. I'm actually going to say what was taught in the unit I took in my high school biology class. My teacher did not reveal her position on the topic, and that's, of course, the proper thing for a science teacher to do. But she did give some interesting quotes. These are the quotes from my high school science teacher. My job, as written by the state, is to share this information with you. You know, if you are uncomfortable with it, get over it. You will have things throughout your life that are going to make you uncomfortable. We are going to go over the facts that are supported by science. Besides people griping with book work for what it actually teaches, this is my biology textbook. In this textbook, evolution is chapter 10. And this is the page right here. And this is unit uh, 10.4, so this is the section, called the fourth section in this textbook. And it's entitled Evidence of Evolution. And it goes on and lists each different types of evidence for evolution. So the textbook actually has to include, uh, you know, what, you, it actually has to state the evidence, of course, but it has, has to make it so poignant that you know, you can actually turn to one section in the book and say, this is where it says, this is how we know. And uh, different types of evidence for evolution are fossil, geography, uh, embryology, I'm probably not saying that right, homologous structures, analogous structures, and vestigial structures. And that's all under anatomy. And, um, basically, they're all, it's all lined out here in these one, two, three, four pages of all the evidence, uh, five pages, that are, that's all the evidence for evolution. It's a basic summary of it. Because of, you know, people like to say there's no proof of evolution. Well, here it is in this textbook. And here it is all lined out. And there's more information in here than I knew. And if you just uh, pick up a science textbook, if you pick up a regular book on science, you'll able to, you're able to see it. Whether you are accepted or not is a different story. But if you don't want to accept the facts, well, you might as well be an epic fail. All right, everybody. I hope this video helped. I hope you found it interesting. If you want to see more videos, click somewheres. Somewheres. Uh, if you want to subscribe, subscribe if you like this video, like it. And I will see you next time. Bye.